The undercover fake Sheikh, journalist Maza Mahmoud, is jailed for tampering with evidence in a drugs trial. Maza Mahmoud, the man better known as the fake Sheikh, who was responsible for a string of high-profile tabloid stings, is beginning a 15-month jail sentence tonight. He was convicted of tampering with evidence in the drugs trial of the singer Tulisa Contostavlos, which collapsed. Mahmoud has now been sacked by his employer, News UK, owned by Rupert Murdoch. Our correspondent David Silito was in court. The man with his face hidden behind the hood is Maza Mahmoud the fake sheikh, the king of the tabloid sting. He would pose as an Arab sheikh and he lured dozens of people to do or say things that made them front page news. Many ended up in prison. Today, he was the one heading for jail. A 15 month sentence for lying, manipulating evidence, trying to get the singer Talisa convicted on a drugs charge. Outside court, one of his former victims, the actor John Alford, read out a statement. We now know that Maja Mahmood is a manipulator of evidence and a serial perjurer. This goes to show no one is above the law. Behind him, others who'd been stung by the fake sheikh. He's a con man. He's a nasty con man. He's not a journalist. He's a nasty con man. Did you ever expect this day? No, I never did. I always thought that we, the little people, would never get you know, get the truth out there, um, and it's a great day for us. Okay. Now, many of the criminal cases are under review. There have been many convictions. Over the years, he's boasted about how many people he's helped send to prison, sometimes based almost entirely on evidence from Maza Mahmoud. He has now been sacked by the Sun on Sunday, but some wonder why it didn't happen sooner. It was 28 years ago that he left his job at the Sunday Times after being accused of lying. He was soon back a star of Rupert Murdoch's News of the World. His former boss always felt there was something wrong. The warnings were there. The warnings were there for the police, who continued to assist him. The warnings were there for News International, who continued to employ him. And I found it astonishing that he wasn't found out sooner. And of course, all this follows the hacking scandal. The government said there will be a second part to the Leveson inquiry, an investigation into the press and the police. This conviction has only added to the demands for that inquiry to finally take place. David Silito, BBC News.